Hey, hope everybody's doing good. I uh, wanted to make a fairly quick video just to show a couple of accessories um, that I thought you all might find useful. And also, I uh, thought I'd share how I clean my cart. It's not real clean right now, but I thought I would share that with some of you. Maybe a new owner would like to know some of the easier ways to do it. Um, but I've been wanting to show these fans that I, I found. I know it's winter for most, but it's really hot where we're at most of the time. And uh, so these fans, I just found a really kind of a tricky way to get them put on here. And uh, use zip ties. And I actually zip tied into the back seat screw. Uh, like that's how it's tied in there. And it actually worked out really well. And what's great about this fan is it has, it's, it's pretty fast. Um, but also, it's obviously battery powered and um, it has light. But the way I have it set up, once again, I hope somebody finds this useful. Um, the way I've, you know, hopefully y'all can pause the video and screenshot it because there's really no, no, I don't know. It's not a, I guess I'm not doing it in a very, uh, I guess there's no, I guess I'm trying to say there's no instruction to it. I just kind of winged it. But what I like is I can flip the fan and keep passengers cool. So it sits this way on the back of, of us, me or my, my wife. But if my dog, the new giant schnauzer we got, he's so big, he's always hot. When we get in the car and we're getting situated, I just turn the fan on for him. And so I, don't know, I thought it was pretty... Uh, pretty interesting way to do it. And I've been dealing with fans ever since I got into messing with these golf carts. And these are two of the more interesting ways I've been able to mount them. I also, and they're not shown, but I took the same fans. So once again, I'll put these in the links below, but these same fans, because you can adjust these arms, those were mounted right here until a few days ago. And all I did was wrap the arms around it and had the fan underneath so that the windshield was blocking it. So that way the fan isn't fighting with the air. But the beauty in that, um, well, like I just said, the fan was, doesn't get hit by the air. But I had to take them off uh, because we can't lift the windshield. And it actually has gotten a little cooler. It's just that time of the year. Just, you know, it won't be long, but... My wife gets cold fast, so we took them off, and I think I'll put them on in a few months, couple months or something, put them back on. So I bought four of these fans. I hope that makes sense. You can comment below or let me know if you have questions about it. Um, I've mentioned these before to hold your dog on. Um, it's great. We we'll use this for our little dog. But this giant schnauzer, I mean, this guy's a puppy. He'll be six months in a week, I think. And... Uh, He's almost 60 pounds. He's going to be almost 100. Putting him on, on one of those, he, he just can't get situated on this cart. He, and putting him up front on our lap is just getting way too big. So used to put him in the back with a couple of these, uh, tried another car seat, tried so many different things because it's just really hard to find something for a bigger dog that makes you feel safe. So I found this, this thing, and it's like basically use it inside a car. I'm sure some of you have seen these. But um, they were basically just engulf the whole back seat of a car so the dog doesn't hurt anything, and then he's safe. Well, I bought it just to see if I can make it work on the cart, and go figure, it actually works really well. Um, he's getting big, and that's the good, you know, he has no trouble seeing over the top, so he's not in there uh, blind, you know, where he can't see anything. He, he just looks over the top and lays on these things, on the edges of it, and I've done some pretty interesting uh, things to make sure he's secured. Um, all of these zippers, what I did, obviously used the bungees, but the zipper was held on by a zip so that, so the zipper can't go down accidentally. All three are like that, except for this one. And then when this zipper comes up, what I did is I bought this clasp that I can just clip right there to the ring. This clip goes into that ring while we're driving. And I just 
disengage it when I'm done and, and then I zip it. So that way he's secure on this fourth ring. I know this is all pretty boring stuff, but maybe there's one person that has issues with a bigger dog and it might help you. So I wanted to share that. Um, I, uh, I was gonna show you guys how, what I use for cleaning products. Sorry, my garage is a mess. It's the one part of my life that I let get messy. I just don't care. Uh, and I'm an OCD guy, but I just, the garage is the garage for me. So what I did, what I did is I bought this stuff. And I love it. It's called Showroom Shine Spray Wax by Malco. Obviously got it on Amazon. Um, bought this big gallon. I've had it for at least, at least a year. It just don't use much. And, uh, and what I did is I put this, I put it in a, a bottle of this stuff because I tried this speed wax once. Once it was empty, I filled this up with, with that stuff. And that is what I do. I just wipe the card off occasionally. Very rarely do I spray a hose on it. Um, it just doesn't get that dirty. There, I believe everything needs to get a good wash once in a while. When I do that, I always use uh, this wash and wax. But it's not very often. And uh, most of the time, I use this, this stuff I was talking about, the showroom shine, and uh, just to wipe off all the white area you see on that cart, okay? That's, what, that's the white area. I'm not going to do it now, of course. Then what I use is this endurance tire gel by Meguiar's. And what I do is I put it on the fenders, the mirrors, any little rubber spot I see. I actually put a little bit of on this bar too. Um, and I put it obviously on the tires and any, any little black area you can see, I'll go over it. I'll do the back of the seats. I'll, I'm, I'm very particular about getting, making the black look wet. And I don't waste a lot of this gel on the, the mat. I think the mat needs to stay. I'm just a person that wipes it down too with some, some type of black stuff, uh, spray or something. So what I've been doing lately is using this cheap bottle of tire foam. It's a lot cheaper and it doesn't do the job for the other stuff that I just mentioned. So I'm using it just to do the floor. And it makes it nice and black, and, you know, but uh, you know, most people think it'd be too slippery. It's really not, not to me. And I like it to look clean, the mat, the floor. So I use that too, as I mentioned. Um, I don't guess anybody watching this video is gonna have tires like mine, but then what, what I do is I, I have a bottle of, you know, like some dollar store Comet uh, that well, this, that was in here, and then what I then when that was empty, I put water and bleach in here, like a quarter of bleach or a half of bleach with water. And then what I do is I take a little towel and I go around and wipe all these white letters. Um, I did buy, you know, the stuff you're supposed to use. I bought a brush, you know, and I bought the bleachy white. But just doing this this cheap way with the, that bottle with the bleach and water just comes out fine. Um, another thing I wanted to show you all is I learned about 303 protectant when I got my Tesla. Um, people were saying when you wipe the dash, it was just, seems like you're messing it up and you use other stuff. And they said, you got to try 303. And I've never heard of it in my life and I've cleaned a lot of cars and it is unbelievable. So you put the 303 on these seats and they will stay protected. I haven't put it on in a little bit. It's just, ever since I got this thing for the back seat here, uh, it's just been hard to really clean the cart the way I want to clean it. But um, I, I'll get to the seat soon, and I will um, put that on there. And it protects them just really good. It's a little more expensive than a lot of things, but just read up on it. That 303 protector is fantastic. And I'll put a link in there, like I mentioned. Um, I think that's about it. Um, if you all have any questions, comments, just let me know. Appreciate y'all watching the videos. Um, just thought I'd share this with you all because I never shared about the fans and I thought that was something important. Hope everybody has a great weekend.